What's up guys, I'm way late to the party on this, but I happen to be a massive Hulk fanatic. He's my number one. So I figured, you know what, I'll give you guys my perspective on this new She-Hulk trailer. Yes, I've already watched it. I'm gonna react to it one more time with you guys. I've only watched the trailer once, okay? So I'm gonna watch it one more time with you guys and then I'll give you my overall thoughts on the trailer, all right? So anyway, let's go and go. Being a superhero is a trial by fire. Who's gonna protect the world if not people like you? I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. A uh, demanding job. We just started a superhuman law division and I want you to be the face of it. And a frustrating family. Cause we didn't ask for this, but you still gotta deal it with it. Bad. The transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Oh. Bruce, kind of feels like if I don't transform, I'm gonna die. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. I That's just good. want That's... to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She-Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. Your ass looks crazy right now. Oh. You could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? Yeah, this is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. Okay, um, I'm going to be fair about this. I am a massive Hulk fan. I, I've said that. Um, I'll definitely watch this just because anything Hulk related that's going to come out, I'm going to give it a chance. All right. So I'm not, I'm not saying that I am not watching this. I'm avoiding it at all costs. No, no, absolutely not. I'll definitely watch it because any new Hulk content, to me, at face value is a good thing. Now, after we see it, and it could be completely fucking atrocious, that's a different story. I'm hoping it's not, okay? Based on that trailer, I have very, very mixed uh, feelings. Um, I guess, first off, I hate, and I mean, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. I hate what MCU has done to Hulk. I think I'm a little hard on Mark Ruffalo sometimes. If I, if I give him some credit, I will say the first Avengers... Uh, the, you know, he had to step into Edward Norton's shoes, which I think are massively, massively big shoes to step into. People don't talk about how great Edward Norton was as the Hulk. So I think Mark Ruffalo did the best he could given the script in the first Avengers. And I think Hulk is pretty decent in the first Avengers for sure. And Ultron actually okay but it's when the the russo brothers got a hold of the character that it just went south like way south even when he was savage they didn't capitalize they made him look like a bitch pretty much that's what the hulk was and in the in the comics hulk is not a bitch at all i'm not saying hulk has to defeat everything in his path but he's just constantly the whipping boy and maybe that's a rights thing maybe that's just their way of saying hey we don't own the character so we're just gonna treat him as such and that's just the way it is. And I'm scared that that's what's going to happen uh, here. You know, I didn't like Hulk in Endgame. I'm sorry. I know he has a very important part in the movie. Um, but overall, you know, and I've bitched about this quite a bit in the past. Okay. But yeah, I just didn't like, I don't like Professor Hulk. All right. I know that he's a necessary version of the character. I don't like him. I don't ever need to see Professor Hulk on my screen. And that's just a personal opinion. If you love Professor Hulk, that's awesome. And I know Bruce Banner is smart. But for me, keep the smart stuff with Bruce. Keep the savagery with Hulk. That's the way I've always liked it. I'll never change. That's how I'm going to die, okay? So anytime I see Hulk in this TV series, I'm probably going to be rolling my eyes. I'm probably not going to be liking him. He doesn't look good in that trailer. And uh, I'm just going to find him annoying. I probably am. Uh, will there be some funny, lighthearted moments? Probably. And look, guys, I hope I come out the end of this series saying, okay, they proved me wrong. Uh, Professor Hulk can serve a great purpose. And I quite enjoyed myself. 
And let's be fair about this too. This isn't his show. This is, you know, this is Jennifer Walters. Now, Tatiana Maslany, I have no problem with her whatsoever. She's amazing in Orphan Black. She's a really good actress. And I think, you know, if you're going to cast somebody as She-Hulk, she's a great pick. She really is. Um, I'm not really that bothered by the CGI because, you know, when you're dealing with the Hulk, let's face it, we've come a long way compared to 2003. I just reviewed that movie. One of my biggest problems with 2003 is he looks horrible. I don't ever expect a, a, a hyper-realistic Hulk. I think we've, we've come a long way with the character in terms of CGI. I think the biggest problem is her face in this, obviously, because she still looks human, just bigger and just greener. Or I guess green. She was never green in the first place. And also, this is a trailer. It definitely has that MCU stamp all over it. You know, and that's just a, a personal choice. If you love that MCU humor, then it, this is probably going to be just fine for you. But if some of that stuff can get on your nerves, if some of that stuff feels like it's overused, then you might get really annoyed. And I got a feeling that that might be the case here. I don't really want to see She-Hulk dating you know, just from the trailer, that did look kind of cringe, all right? Um, you know, again, I'll always give it a chance. Maybe once I see everything in full context, maybe I'll enjoy it. But from the trailer, not that impressed, you know? And I do like She-Hulk as a character because she's part of the Hulk family. And so I've always been curious as to what they could do with the character. And at least finally we have She-Hulk uh, on the screen and she could end up going into the movies, you know, because they constantly use characters from TV to movies and, and back and forth in the MCU. So we might see She-Hulk um, gracing the silver screen, you know, in a future movie. Who knows? Guys, I can't believe this, but I forgot to mention Abomination. Uh, like, Abomination is one of my favorite villains uh, in the MCU. Like, I think he was perfect with the Hulk in the 2008 movie. Uh, he was like, you know, equal in strength and all that. So I've always been curious, where is Abomination now? Uh, because he didn't die in that movie. And I also liked that he had like a really small part in Shang-Chi to let you know, hey, we haven't forgotten about Abomination. So I think it's going to be awesome in this to see Tim Roth specifically, because we didn't see Tim Roth in Shang-Chi. And I love Tim Roth uh, as Blonsky. He was a really great villain, really great villain. So I'm curious to see what happens with him. Um, you know, she's going to be his lawyer and all that. And they could really go anywhere with this storyline. I like that I have no idea where they're going to go. Um, but yeah, yeah, super, super excited for Blonsky and Abomination. Absolutely. This new phase that they're going with is kind of all over the place. I literally, right before just recording this, just gave No Way Home another watch. That's a great movie. I really like that movie. Multiversal Madness. That's a great movie. I really like that movie. So I think they're hit and miss right now. But yeah, I, that's pretty much my overall thoughts on this trailer. I'm a little bit um, befuzzled by it, I guess. Uh, we shall see. But I'll, I'll definitely watch it, you know. And, and if, uh, if I don't like the first couple episodes, I'll probably check out and I'll never watch anything else from it. In my personal opinion on all these MCU television shows, nothing has really blown my socks off. Okay, nothing. Even WandaVision. You know, none of it has really just been like, wow, that's amazing television. You know, even Winter Soldier. Nope. So I don't expect any different out of this. So what are your thoughts on the new She-Hulk trailer? Looking forward to hearing them in the comments. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do free for all Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dumbs on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Drum Dumb out.